Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA video, we're going to be talking about how Grand Theft Auto 6's multiplayer has some pretty controversial features, including the player count, as well as the limitations that Rockstar are going to have being able to do things live, which is becoming a huge part of other titles. We're going to be talking about all of that in this video today, and a whole lot more. So the conversation all started a couple of days ago when a few members of the community were talking about how in-game live events were going to work in Grand Theft Auto 6's multiplayer. And to a degree, we've kind of seen this in Grand Theft Auto Online right now, but it isn't anything to the degree of other games out there. And a lot of people were wondering, how would this actually work? Well, Rockstar Games insider Tez Funds 2 chimed in and said this is how it would work in GTA 6's multiplayer. He said, I don't have an opinion on the interest towards live musical events, but I would say in terms of technicality, we are less likely to have live in-game events. However, we are more likely to have musical content like what we have in Grand Theft Auto Online with the Music Locker and Cayo Perico Beach Party. On 5M, you connect to servers, and during the loading process, you download streaming assets. The server contains a server-side version of the game. Therefore, you can host a live event as the rapper or music artist creates a character within the server and meets the fans in-game. Any changes to the, say, party area can be done on the server, and every player would load up the same assets. But now try and have the artist do that across two or three servers simultaneously. That's the problem with GTA Online. In addition, Grand Theft Auto Online 2 won't fully run on servers like 5M. It'll be a hybrid of peer-to-peer -peer and servers mainly focused on providing the player Rockstar Cloud services like handling sessions and social club integration. Basically, we won't have actual live in-game events where artists react to fans in real time anytime soon. What we could have, however, is more pre-recorded musical events that Rockstar could conceal under the identity of being live events. For example, Rockstar could bring back Dr. Dre alongside famous music artists in a similar fashion to the Super Bowl show to have them with a game event that runs within a precise time window on a specific day. You could log in during the event window and visit a stadium in-game to see them performing, but all of that will be pre-recorded. It's similar to how Dr. Dre in GTA Online shows up at Record A Studios, say at 2 o'clock, and the cutscene of Dr. Dre arriving will play. If you go outside and come back at 2.10, he would have finished his first song and is playing his second song. Some songs could have a special artist arriving like Anderson Pock arrives at Record A Studios to record his vocal for ETA, but of course, in reality, that would be pre-recorded as well. Imagine that in the next iteration of GTA Online, but the songs will be packed into a special one hour long event. All right, so let's break that down. We've already started to see sort of a dumbed down version of that in the current Grand Theft Auto Online. So for GTA 6's multiplayer, we're not necessarily going to get a full blown live event. Like you see some sort of recording artist or musician or rapper say, hey, I'm hopping on Grand Theft Auto Online and then all their players are there and they're able to do this live event. It would all obviously have to be pre-recorded and obviously the trouble with that is players being able to find that sort of stuff in the files and not really being kept a secret. But pre-recorded is really the only way that Rockstar could do it, but they could do it in a bigger, bolder fashion than what they have right now. Instead of necessarily being stuck inside of Record A Studios, they could, for example, do it in a massive stadium. And luckily, since we know Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be taking place in Vice City, there are some massive both indoor stadiums and arenas, as well as outdoor amphitheaters that could provide for some seriously cool venues for something like this. So I could definitely see that being possible as a way Rockstar ends up working out some of the live events in game. Now again, more follow up to this entire thing, as the person who made the original comment said, thanks for that, really interesting to hear how it could be possible to be implemented from a technical standpoint, as I couldn't actually see how it worked aside from in the RP lobbies. I understand that most of the in-game concerts we hear about are pre-recorded mixes, but at the same time wondered why it would be difficult to actually host a real live event. Do you believe that this is something that Rockstar could look to implement? Maybe not even exclusively for music events, but even something like the rumored GTA movie with Eminem that was supposedly rejected. Could that be ticketed as a live event if it was made using the same technique as the concerts? And he said, there are two different cases. 
Do you mean live, as in the rapper creates a character, much like us, and stands in front of our characters doing nothing special, but using voice chat to perform, much like what happens in 5M? That would be more easily done in a server environment with more than 32 players. Grand Theft Auto 6's multiplayer, however, is limited to 32 players. Rockstar could come up with new tech that pretty much, in the technical sense, lets us watch live streams in-game, and so the rapper could live stream his performance to everyone. We could have a sense of interaction by utilizing a chat feature shared across sessions. In the case, Rockstar can extend beyond a musical event to letting us watch a movie by letting them or something. Or do you mean live as in something similar to the Travis Scott Fortnite event? Because even that event was pre-recorded. What EA and Respawn did at 2019's Game Awards with Mirage interacting in real time with host Jeff Keighley was the closest thing we'd get to seeing real-time motion capture. But even that was captured within a small studio next door to the stage. You can imagine a lot of LAN cables connected between the studio and the stage to transmit the huge data. But that would be a different problem if needed to be done via the internet. Imagine Mirage lagging because the devs experience connection issues, thus Rockstar is unlikely to take this approach. They would rather have the event pre-recorded. So Insider Test Funds 2 kind of sneaking in a little nugget there that you might have caught. It looks like Grand Theft Auto 6's multiplayer or GTA Online 2.0 is going to be limited to 32 players. That's a little bit unfortunate only because that's really just the amount we have right now currently and you would think with the even newer generation of consoles, a new engine that the game is going to be built upon, that we'd be able to have more than that. But maybe it's not necessarily about the engine and the consoles, but more or less the servers that Rockstar use or the way they get this thing to work. And that also might be one of the reasons why doing a live event is just simply not possible. It could be ticketed as live yes but it's definitely going to be something pre-recorded very similar to the travis scott Fortnite event that happened a couple years back you probably ended up remembering that and also probably taking place in it as well do i still think that would be cool yes but i feel like there could be some upgrades even from what Fortnite did so it'll be interesting to see how rockstar handles that now the last thing i want to talk about is obviously everyone was like well wait a minute only 32 players how is this known whatsoever? Where is this information coming from? And Insider Test Funds 2 said because the leaked footage showed testing clips of the multiplayer with the max players disabled. Plus, we know from findings that the game will use similar services of Red Dead Online. Not to mention, the whole footage showed the game built upon RDR2 structure, like how earlier testing showed footage of Arthur's walking animations, which is a standard for game development. If you check out the clip America's underscore one, 2022 0524 17 1942 video clip and focus on the bottom left where it says PL 2 out of 32. That's two players within a 32 player lobby. It's actually a 30 player lobby, but with two slots for spectators, the same as GTA Online and Red Dead Online. Next to that, you can see SHPR RSN 1, which is the script host, and right after is GMH PR RSN 1 which I believe is referred to as the Game Master or Session Host. That video clip is from May 2022, so that's last year, and structural changes like increasing the max player's limit need to be done much earlier. So that is some game-breaking news right there. Not game-breaking as in a bad thing, but like, whoa, we just found out that Grand Theft Auto 6's multiplayer is only going to have 32 players. And I guess that's kind of the question where I want to leave you guys. Do you think that's an adequate amount of players? Do you wish Rockstar reduced the amount? Or do you wish it was a little bit bigger? I guess it all kind of depends on what the map is. Because as things currently stand in Grand Theft Auto Online, really it's like all players just kind of congregate towards like the main city. Then there's really nothing else ever going on. And so you really do just have like 32 people packed on a couple of city streets. But if there's a whole lot more to do in, let's say, Grand Theft Auto 6's multiplayer map, those 32 people could be spread out quite evenly, and it would make things a whole lot more balanced. So definitely let me know what you think in those comments down below on that and everything else we discussed in this video today. I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.